Hey, what's good family? Uh, okay, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to organize your plugins in Logic. So, okay, why do you want to do that? Well, okay, for me, uh, I've been using Logic for years and years now. I love it, um, but there's always been a couple things that, that irritated me. Um, one was the way that they organize their plugins. Um, as you can see, the standard way they do it is they, they list the um, internal plugins, the ones that are included when you buy Logic up top here, and then to access you know, any ex external plugins, your audio uh, unit plugins, you have to go to a sub menu, and then they're broken down by manufacturer. Um, for me, uh, I'm, I usually don't think about who made the plugin, even though I might know the name of the plugin itself. Um, let's just say I, I was looking for uh, you know, Microtonic, but I forgot it was made by Sonic Charge, so I gotta kinda look through, it's like, oh man, who, who made that? Um, you know, it's a slight little little um, speed bump for me. Um, but now, uh, with the new updates with Logic, they allow you to organize the plugins menu however you want to. And I, I thought that was a kind of a cool little thing that I'd like to pass on to you. Um, so as you can see here, I've made a folder, I mean, a category called Sense. And what I've done is just I've just added all of my VSTs into here, so I can just pull them up. I don't have to worry about who made it, but it just kind of lists them uh, alphabetically. Um, for the way my mind works, um, it's just an easier way for me to find stuff. So, um, okay, so that being said, how is it done? Uh, very easy to do. You just go into your preferences, go to your plugin manager, and as you can see here, I've added this category called uh, Sense. Um, to do that, I would just click on this uh, plus button here, and as you can see, uh, a folder is added. Um, now you can name that folder whatever you want and then put whatever type of plugins you know that, that work for you inside of it. Um, I don't know, let's just, uh, let's just make one up and call it uh, Mastering. So I give it a title and then I can um, just drag any, any plugin that I might want to put on my master my master fader. Let's just, let's just throw a let's see, Ozone in there. I'll just scroll back up to it. Those ozone in there, maybe something by waves. Uh, yeah, let's just throw in waves L3 ultra maximizing. Um, and also, you are able to go in and edit the categories that they already have. Um, let's just say I wanted to add in in the dynamics folder. They already have the um, included um, Apple plugins in there, but let's just say I wanted to add something new, um, then I can just go into, uh, let's see, go to Native Instruments, grab, um, let's say Supercharger, and I can just drag that into Dynamics, and once I click Done, once I've made all my changes, I click done. And then Logic is going to do this little uh, reinitializing thing. Uh, why, I do not know. Just give it a second. Okay, once it comes back up, um, you can see if I go to my Dynamics folder, you can see the... Um, Supercharger plugin I put in there. Um, and you can see the folder down here, the one new one I made called Mastering. And of course, uh, I gotta be on the instruments to see it, but like my sense folder pulls up all my things. So there it is there. Um, go ahead, go forth into the world, organize your plugins the way you see fit. Um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you all very soon.